we were out this morning. Uh, went and got a, we ended up getting a couple seats. We took Bernie's seat back, but we end up finding a shifter. There's the shifter. Thanks, Bernie. But anyways, we bring a couple seats, and I'm going to pull them in and check them out. And the only reason we bring them is because he, he let us, and they were a little bit smaller. And uh, we just want to see for just in case. The shifter was a bonus. Uh, Bernie's the man for parts. Wow, he got some stuff. Bernie's the man. These are MGD seats, and I think, um, if I recall right, he said they were an early seat because they had no headrest. I'm thinking that's, that's what it is. Uh, the shifter, that's cool, eh? The shifter, that's the shifter there, and then the, the handle will be a little piece of wood on this side, a little piece of wood on this side, and screws in, it'll be really elegant. I don't know how to work this thing yet, but I will find out. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to bring the other seat in just so I get that done, get that door shut and jack it off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make some patterns for the console and try to fit where the shifter is going. Yesterday, I forgot to put the pieces up from the window to the, to the dash bar so the, so the dash can be screwed down. I forgot to do that, so I'll put them in. And I'll just do a little bit and show you how I'm going to make, you know, the console finish it off I guess I'll we'll make some metal or make some patterns to show you I appreciate everybody on the page on this YouTube channel um, a lot of positive things being said and I know this is what I know for sure when you write something positive I know what kind of person you are <laughs> if you know what I'm saying and if you write a different comment, I know what person you are. You know, if you know what I'm saying. Actions, uh, I guess, generally are who you are. You know, I go by actions. So I go by. I, I generally don't go by what someone tells me or what someone said. Um, I could never go by that because that's an opinion. And we obviously know that that's not so good sometimes. Then, yeah, here we go. I'm going to carry this out. I'm kind of excited to try this, the seat. The seat looks small. I like this one better than this one because of the headrest on this one. And I'm not liking the metal. I don't, or the chrome on the side. I don't know if they would have had that then. But they might have. It might look extra special in there. I don't know. But the only way I would know is to try it, and that's what I'm gonna do. But thank you for all the positive comments. Thank you, appreciate it. And I hope I can compliment you back by telling you that I think you're positive. This, I just put this in there all the time. We keep looking at it and going over just to make sure. I think Jolene's gonna do something special for the YouTubers tonight. She's gonna to have another video on of a article that she recorded for a magazine. We had we did a little article for a magazine. We want to thank our team too. We have a team in New York that you know gets us that them, them contacts and they do the articles and stuff so people can know or whatever they need to know. But uh, yeah, we thank them too. Um, you can, 8 o'clock, you can watch uh, me sit down in front of a lit up light and Jolene's Productions, Pater 101. But anyways, uh, that's, she'll show that at 8 o'clock, so you'll get to watch this, and you get to watch that if you want to, only if you want to. Um, as I have this on here, I'm happy, I'm happy with it. We've seen a couple MGBs this morning, and the MGBs, it's an MGB, is it not? Had a flat console up front and a little round in the back. Yeah, I'm hoping that, you know, as, as you see that, your, your, your transmission tunnel does not have to be round. <laughs> it does, I just proved it, you know? I mean, it does not have to be round. And just because it does not look 
the way it normally does does not mean that it's not okay, <laughs> if you know what I'm trying to say. That's way better. Wow. Wow. I'm liking that, baby. I'm liking that. I didn't put one there. Wow. Well, I could sit in there. That's bang on. That's her right there. That's like I mean that's I mean I don't know what else to say. But hey. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but anyways, now I'm going to grab the shifter. I think what we have here is, like, you can see the wheel well of the car. It's kind of rubbing on the seat there a little bit on that side. i am just got it jammed in there, you know. And this also here can be snipped off so it fits in there a little bit better. But it can be set like that. I want to get in here with the shifter. What I want to do next? Everything, you know, I've built cars that I don't fit into that well, and I still have them, <laughs> and they're mine. But I have done that, so I know, try not to do that. Um, my first car, Way to Heaven, I, I channeled it and chopped it as heavy as I could, and <laughs> I have to shrink as small as I can. <laughs> but yeah, I like that. I mean, how much nicer can you get than that? Like, I mean, you got a shifter right around there somewhere. Like, how much nicer can you get than that to drive? To be honest with you, like... And let's face it. The cabin is only big as the cabin can get. You know what I mean? We, like, we can blow a couple of bubbles and put a roof out there for somebody's head or something. But other than that, like, this thing is... I like to feel this. I don't think we have to worry about seats at all, really, baby. I think we just go something like that without the headrest. Unless you want me to make them. Um, I think we'd be fine. Put the shifter right about there somewhere. You got your elbow right here somewhere. You got your wheel right about there somewhere. Dash is down here, so I got room in my feet now that I'm back. I noticed that your legs were in there quite, you know, in their ways to get things. But now I can even do the brake myself, like this. I can sit like this and do the brake. If I can do the brake, you can do the brake. So if I get the gas pedal back here where the brake is, so heel toe, heel toe, like this, that dash is going across here. So I got four inches. Now we'll say three inches between my shin and the dash. And if I get in an accident, I'm going to get hurt like just anybody else in a car accident. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's funny when people say, oh, you're going to get hurt in that car. Well, you're going to get hurt in any car you get smashed up in, man. Like, come on, let's get real here. Let's get real here. And who, who thinks about that sort of stuff? Anyways, I think that we have a winner of a seat. That seat fits in there really good. I don't, I'm not saying I like this one itself, but I'm saying the size of it works. The size of it works. It works. So I'm thinking that this will really work. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's gonna work. Just on the back, it needs to be, I think I would, I don't really want to sit in that seat, beyond with you. <laughs> but I think, yeah, I'm pretty, that, like, that works really well. Watch your shifter, baby. And that works really well. We'll go with that. I think we have seats if we need them. And that's what I'm saying. This one here really... That one there, I like. I like that one's not bad. And the shifter, um, I have to find out which way it goes. We found this in the last moment we were there. And that was a good thing. Because I found it. I'm saying that the cable must hook in there. Obviously hooks on there. But we can put that, look at that. See, that's another thing too, when I built the console, I did not think about the, I, I thought about the shifter, but I was hoping that that'd be wide enough to get down there. Look, got a, a quarter inch on either side, so kind of got away with that. That shifter, we can put that down inside. And I, I think that we will go, in here we'll make a bracket, we could do a bracket, a piece of square tubing from across there or a piece of plate in there and we can mount that down inside and then come over top with something. Cable here, run down to the transmission. And we can put it 
wherever Jolene wants it, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna probably put the seat in it, set her in it, and then make that plate to put it where it's at. Uh, we'll mark that when it's time. Uh, but right now, I want to make that tunnel. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna get some cardboard here. And I wanna thank the guy again with the cardboard, man. We're gonna use her. <clears throat> We're gonna use her. Coming in the money, sweetheart, coming in the money. Best markers here. I'm gonna get another piece. This one's in the they're all been cut, but I'm gonna get another piece. I'm smart. So what I'm doing is, you know what? I'm gonna cut a little bit off it. Just so I can handle a little bit better, I'm just gonna cut a little bit off it. Just a little bit. I'm going to use a straight edge on the on the floor of the car, and then I'll use the other edge to trace. So, as I got this sitting in here, first off, you can see right up by the trans tunnel there, right up front. This is how I do this stuff, and I try to do it as quick as possible. I look at this distance here. From there to there, when I put the piece of Bristol board up tight, I put that tight. Trying to get in there. I look at this distance here, and I look at, and that's about it. I take that distance off the top and bring it down to here. So right here is the same, I'll look up there, same distance. I'm gonna mark it right about there somewhere. What I'm saying is that distance from there to there is the same distance there to there, and that was just by eye. So now I'm just gonna get a ruler. If it doesn't work the first time, you do it again until it fits. That's what I'm saying. So as I do that, just mark that on there like that, right? That's our first try, okay? And I just guessed it. I didn't go crazy and try to go grab something. I didn't. I didn't uh, do anything other than make a guess, but I made an educated guess because I knew at the other end it did not fit that much. So we'll try to trim it off the other end. If it does not work, we'll do it again. Now, as I have this going on here, I want a little bit more off. You can see that. See that little tiny bit? Quarter inch, quarter inch. I want to take quarter inch. I want to take a little bit more off. I'm going to guess again. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? Especially if it makes it quicker. Fina wants in, I'm gonna let her in here in a second. And I love my dog. It does okay, I think, it does okay. So I'm just gonna leave that like that. I'm gonna throw a piece of tape on there and there, and we'll stick another one on. Too. 
Nice day out there today, eh? Mm -hmm. Nice day out there today. Extra video on YouTube today, 8 o'clock. Uh, just, just an interview, a tape interview. If I was smart, I'd, I'd keep I'd keep the pattern, and the interior guy could use it. If I was smart. Yeah, I got a little piece right here. I got the the floor is going flat along here. It's going flat along here. Then it decides to turn up, and that's where we'll have to make something else. We're gonna use, I've got this straight edge here. I'm just using the straight edges right now. Put that on. There, like that. I don't have to use all that. I'm just taping it on there because, because I can. Nicer. Yeah, where it goes in. Eh, that's not so bad. I will mark that so I can cut that off. Mark that so I can cut that off. Need a little piece of this going in here. I can, uh, what I can do is, I'll just cut it in pieces, you know, no sense to me. Cut in pieces. I uh, shouldn't have done that, but I did. Too late. Too late, I'm gonna stick it on there anyways. Doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter if it's, uh, as long as it fits the bottom and fits the top is all I care. How many pieces it's made of doesn't matter, does it? Just the pattern. Shouldn't say just, but. Hmm. Instead of me trying to find that, that, that shape right there, I just cut it and tape it on. I think that was easier than try, trying to find the, that was much easier than trying to find that angle. Much easier. I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I did that. Taping's not my favorite job. Jolene likes it, Tape, but taping is not my favorite job. I'll do it, obviously, but it's not my favorite job. Ugh, that wasn't so good, was it? You like taping things, eh? Yeah, I don't yeah. So, I've sort of, well, I do have a pattern that I would weld in there. Or a piece of metal that I can cut. 
one on the other side. I'm going to, will you hold that for me, sweetheart, please? Same time as you can. I'll try to get it erased and see what I'm doing. Now, I'm thinking when I pull that off, that is the side pattern of the metal that I want. So I'm thinking I'm going to tape it together better so it don't pull apart when I pull it off. That's what I'm thinking. Good. So I'm going to pull this off, pull this out, and uh, we're going to say that this is the piece of metal. This is the piece of metal for the stays together. Okay, we're going to cut that line across there. Wow, it looks straight, doesn't it? Well, I suppose. Get it straight across the top. Why wouldn't it be straight? Right? But it almost looks to me like I lay that on a flat edge of. Wow, that's going to be nice. This is. That's going to be nice. I had every pattern to this car in cardboard and I burned every one of them and I started a fire one day. <laughs> I was trying to start a fire. <laughs> Can you believe that? Huh? I could have sent it in the mail, sold to you for $50. Here's the patterns, build yourself a Bugatti, right? Anyways. Beautiful. Now I'm hoping, hoping it'll fit the other side. But if it does not, does not, I will not cry. Right? It'll, it'll be fine. Um, we have a 20 gauge. Generally, don't use it. 
But like the old saying goes, I use what I got. So those 20 gauges. We'll probably just draw a little pattern on the side of it. We'll B-roll something in it to make it look nice. And we'll go from there. I'm hoping that this bottom piece is straight. Jolene was welding on the on the V last night for the V8 sign. She said her neck started getting sore from holding the helmet up. So I said, let's go inside, baby. I'll massage you. <laughs> so here's what we got. Yeah, I'm gonna try straight piece. What the heck? I'm gonna throw it in there. It probably, but I'll trace this out too. So if it don't work, we can scoop it out. With Someone suggested plastic, so you can see through it. Great idea, magnets, great idea. Just never have it, <laughs> you know what I mean? If I had the plastic to cut and the magnets, and I probably would, because you can see right through the plastic. I watched a guy on um, Texas Metal doing the interior, and he put a piece of plastic on it. That's how I, that's how I learned that, watching Texas Metal. I find you can learn something from all the shows. You just have to be quick. You, have, you know what I mean? You have to know what you're looking for, sort of. And uh, I've, learned, I've learned something from them all. Why is that so jay? What's that all about? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's all about if you know what I'm saying. If you know what I'm saying. I will take that out with a flapper wheel just because it'll be a little bit easier than trying to cut it with something like that. And seeing where that's there, that's what I'm going to cut it with. That's what I'm going to cut it with. I'm going to try and do the best job I can. That just means trying to stay close to the line. These things are quite non-forgiving. That's the pattern. I'm gonna go ahead a little bit from there. Some easy to cut compared to 18. Wow. Wow. What a difference. What a difference. Wow. Flapper wheels the rest. Flapper wheels the rest. Oh, it doesn't feel right, baby. It feels like, it feels like I'm cheating. <laughs> it does feel like I'm cheating. Using that. 
I don't know, it feels like I'm cheating. I know. I don't know what I'm cheating from, but... Because it was easier to cut. That's why. <laughs> I'm trying to do is flatten that down. And that's what that, that little cutter over there does. It stretches the edge. That's why it's little. That's why it's like that, because it stretches. Mm. But like that. Scrub it off before I put it in. We're just going to set it in there and see. here see how this is up here see this little gap up here I'm gonna to try to fix that right now just take a little bit off this just take a little bit off try to get that back a little bit and then we'll go from there one step at a time that metal is bending in my hand I pulled it out of the car crazy Happy with that? That metal? You know, we have that? Yeah. You ain't going through the side wall of a console, <laughs> you know? I didn't think you were. The grinder. I leave it on one side, the other did I put it away, didn't I? It's hard to believe I put the tools back, but it did. Yes, I did. We'll get this fit if it's possible. Get rock and roll here, Hilti. Come on, come on, come on. Take a little bit off. As, as I'm doing this, as I'm doing this, I could put a bend of 90 on that, punk a hole in it, and then try to sp then spot weld to the back of the floor. I could do that. Or I can do what I'm doing and do it twice as quick. Because I'd have to put a 90 on down here, put a 90 on down here, 90 on down there. Then you draw all your holes in it and lay it down on there. Then you then you try to weld the holes up where it spots onto the floor. And then, then, then you don't know if it has penetrated good enough or whatever. Then you would seam seal, you would lay the seam sealer on top of the panel. When I'm doing it like this, I really feel like the seam sealer is doing a better job the tack welds are stronger because they're visible, they're not ground off. If you, you, you know for sure that it's bitten in. And that's why I do it this way. And that's why. I don't mind that. 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 But what I don't like is I'll show you. Let me get the marker here. Take that out again. So I like I like this. That's all right. Let me actually see all the welds. See all the welds there. I can tack right to them welds. Right on top of that one. Right on top of that one. I don't like how it fits. Okay. Go on here. I probably was off the line. Probably what I was. I'm gonna straighten it up from there. And then I can mark, I, I can even grind the top off. Does not matter with the top I'm up a little bit. I want that bottom to look right. I want the bottom to look right. I can cut the top off.
Wait, was that baby? So that's good for me. It's good for me. Okay, there we go. That's a piece. Right? I'm gonna take that cardboard on the other side. See if it fits on that side, and I'll cut another one. And what we'll do here, this is what we'll do. We probably won't do it today, or do it right now, because I haven't got someone to wheel the, the roller. But this is what we do. As we have this four panel like this, I, I, I would draw a line on the side of this. All I'm doing is trying to keep the same distance from the outside. That's all I'm doing. Just trying to keep sort of the same distance from the outside and then make a panel out of it. We'll make a panel just like that one. We'll stick our insulation on that, in that little porthole. And that'll give the insulation on the side of that. We'll come down here with our seam sealer. We'll come down there through our seam sealer, seam sealer, seam sealer. Just like every other car. Okay, let's make another one. Let's make another one. That's much better than that, would you, baby? Huh? Couldn't ask much better than that. Man, I'm going, I'm going to go for it. Go for it. Yeah, much better than that. So, get my marker again. I'll be running now. Interior guy, we'll keep that piece, right? Now it's something to go with. So probably not. Watch your toes here, Fiend Dean. And that girl, you're a good girl. Now, what I would do with that top, so, let's see what I'll do. With, on this, yeah, I'll leave that alone for a second. But when I cut the top of that, the top of the panel there is a little bit high on the console, but that much. I will either zip, take a zip cut and cut it off after I weld the bottom all and get the bottom all right. I do not want to try to hold it there and mark more off and try to cut it. I'd rather 
tack it in place on the bottom and get it in place and then cut the top off. Just, I, then I know, then I know. I to cut that off. And what do I know? I know that it's gonna fit. I didn't tell you already, I appreciate all the good comments. It tells me exactly what kind of person you are. You really have to thank the computer these days. You really have to thank the computer these days because all that stuff is written down exactly what was said and what wasn't said. If you want to know who somebody is, go on the computer, write a, read a statement or, <laughs> or watch what they post. It tells you exactly who they are. Exactly. Not that it's a good thing or a bad thing. It's just it tells you exactly who they are. And that's more of the truth than probably... And that's ever gone around. <laughs> There's a lot of lies on there too, but let's face it. When you're posting the stuff that you're posting or saying, that's who you are. I really like I really like the idea of the computer. I know exactly who someone is by the statements they write. And that way there, when I meet them, I know exactly where I stand. <laughs> With that, happy with that. I'm actually, yeah. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for it. Tack, no, I can't tack that on yet. We want to run the lines in it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make a piece for the top. Because I can. Well, I'll go on the other side and make it. And I'll take this with me. I want to make the third piece. If I don't have to, I want to. How wide is that? Is that two feet? Ten inches. Because ten inches wide will give me enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up here, make it easy on myself. Mark it. I'm just going to cut it off and. Uh, and I'll make sure I get enough that I'm in the middle here somewhere. I'll just take a piece of tape just so it stays in place a little bit. So I've got enough hands. Tape will work on it. Sure it will. Sure it will. Yeah. I got another little piece here. Don't want to waste it. Don't want to waste it. It's crooked in a ram's horn. See, let's put it on that one side. I don't see, but oh, we're gonna have to. Hmm. We're gonna add probably an inch at the bot back. In all honesty, um, this is where you should be able to make some time 
is making patterns if you can. It's where, it's where a person can get faster if you uh, can make a good pattern quickly. And patterns are tracing. So if you can, if you can get onto a pattern and get it, you know, generally you'll see me make a pattern. I will make it with anything that it's in the shop. And the reason being is, is the quicker I get that done, you know, get a, get a basic shape, the quicker I get that done, the quicker I can move on to getting the metal cut and whatever. And that's basically what I do full time. If you want to come over this side for the door, please. Um, that's basically what I do. I'll just grab anything. And that's why you'll see me make it out of paper. I'll make it out of cardboard. It does not matter to me, just as long as I'm getting the basic shape that I need. And uh, the quicker you do that, the quicker you can move on to the next step, I guess, getting the metal ready and that sort of stuff. I guess basically that's what I'm saying. Sometimes it's nice to move right along because it can get done quicker. And the uh, quicker you make a pattern, the better. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be a pattern. Now. Hope that stays together. Get that piece of tape on the other side. Like, yeah, I keep saying about the you know, about the bench, but it does. It affects my time um, when I, if I get a bench and I run it over to a bench that I've got all set up for just for me and myself, it takes so much time to get that set up generally, I find. And uh, it takes away from the time that I could be spent working on the biggest bench of the world as a floor. Come on, I was just getting in there that night. Make it hurt on me, baby. Freak you. Huh? You think of that? We have an ad on the radio here. <laughs> it comes on the radio once in a while. Where if someone has a drink at your house, um, you're responsible for them if they get on the road. People can barely be responsible for themselves. And if you're old enough to have a drink, why would you want to blame it on somebody else? What a stupid thing to say. Like, it's not your responsibility, it's their responsibility. Don't talk so foolish. People think it's somebody else's responsibility for someone's actions. You're responsible for your own actions and your own actions only. I will not take responsibility for nobody's actions. I can, can barely control myself. <laughs> Why would I take control of somebody else's actions? It's crazy. And they post it on the radio every other day. Like, get real. Let people grow up and figure and make their own decisions. That's what life is about. 
decision making. If I'm going to invite someone over to have a beer, and if I have to put them on the breathalyzer, I don't want them around. I have to make decisions for them. That's not my job. Let people have their own responsibility for their own actions. Talks are crazy. Heard it on the radio. Pop, pop, pop. Go on with yourself. Oh! That's what it'll look like. I'm going to try to put a... I'm going to cut that piece of metal, may as well. I'm going to cut that piece of metal. That was my rant for the day. That was my rant. I just, you know, I just feel um, everybody in the world has to take responsibility at a certain age for their own actions and their own whatever. I do not take responsibility for nobody's actions. And I do not. I only can take care of myself. I can only take care of myself. Can they? I can barely do that sometimes. <laughs> She's shaking her head yes, <laughs> if you want to know. <laughs> yeah. That member that we had that much on the bottom, so we're going to add that much. That's what I'm going to do to that deal there. I said that I was going to do that. I just did it. So now, let's trace this one out. And I will do the exact same thing on this panel that I did, that I'm going to do on the I showed you on the side panel for the bead. We'll try, sure, we'll show you that or not. Might want to have someone in the house to help us. Um, all I would do is to come in here like this. I might make two, might make one, but all I'll do is say, keep the same distance away, just dye it up. We might even make two. We'll make one like that, and then we might make one down here. For this one. Insulation laid in there and lays flat. We'll make our shifter wherever it feels nice. Wherever it feels nice. Share and like. You know, if you're if you're getting anything out of this, share and like, please. Please and thank you. I'll ask you pretty nice and nice. Share and like if you if you're getting anything from me, if you're not. I appreciate you watching. Eight o'clock, there'll be another video on. And also, not only just for the video sake to watch it. <laughs> There's more to it than that. How professional Jolene made that look. She took a video that we, I wrote down, you know, she asked me questions for the, for the magazine and then she was just gonna write them down. Um, that's that's kind of hard to have, you know, someone interpret, you know, I know what, this, what I wanna say, but to write it all down what you've said. So she made a video so she could just play back what I said and then write it down. She wrote the article, what I said, and she also took the article and Every time she asked a question, she cut it out and put that question there for the video. And it's amazing how talented she is, how she done that. Hats off to you, baby. That was, Thanks, she's quite something. <laughs> now, listen, there's different talents at different places. And, and, and my woman has got a talent for social media. She has a talent for it. Uh, she can run the camera. She knows what to say, what not to say. Um, she motivates me every day. Uh, she lets me know what I should be talking about, what I should not be talking about. Uh, yeah, helps me out all the time. Very talented. You can be talented in any way, but when someone lets you know that you have that talent, please don't throw it away. Hang on to that word and, and think about it for a minute. It's like I was talking to my daughter as she was going up the steps. And I said, uh, you were boxing, you were doing really well. And uh, you, you don't want to do it no more. And she said, no, she didn't want to do it anymore. So I said, that's fine. We won't do it anymore. But as she passes up me saying that she's good and someone else saying that she's good and someone else saying that she's good and someone else saying that she was good, 
she will never know how good she could have become, you know? And when someone tells you that you're good at something, doesn't matter if you're, if it's your handwriting, don't care. You could write gift cards maybe, I don't know. But if, if you're ta someone tells you that you're talented at something, stop and think about it for a minute. Is that the direction I should be going? Because a lot of people don't know the direction that they're going. And I'm just letting people know, do not pass up times when you were told that you were good at something. Do not pass that up. Think about it and see how far you could take it beyond what they've just said. And if you like positivity, when you become good at something and some people give you credit for what you're doing and give you like, you know, say, hey, wow, you did a good job or you drew a good picture or you're saying this, you mo that motivates you and you can become whoever you want to become after that. But do not pass up things that people tell you you're good at. Do not pass it by. Think about it for a minute and ask yourself, do I like it? Well, you know, ask yourself. Because a lot of people will say, oh, I wish I was that talented. Well, you probably were or are talented at something. You're not focused on the thing that you were talented on. And you passed it up and passed it by. So you have to recognize when someone says you're good at something, grab onto it for a second. Don't care who you are. Grab onto it for a second because there'll be another compliment come after that. concerned with it all but I'm hoping that when I told her that she's good she was you know when someone tells you you're good at something make sure that you take it to heart and think about it Bent up, I'm a little excited, but cut a little off the back. I want to to uh, put a uh, the metal's a little floppy there. It's not. It's all right. I want to put a little uh, bead in that. What do you think? Do you, do you want to uh, do another video when we put the bead in it, or what? How many how many minutes are on there now? We're at an hour. I'm gonna sign out on this hour. That's how we're making the console of this car. We did it in real time. We didn't really do much work other than tack it in before uh, the first day we started. I don't know what we get in there, four or five hours. But if you can picture it, I would put a goal on somebody during the day. I would say, make the console drive shaft tunnel for the car. I'd like to have it done today, please. When they get it done, I can congratulate them. I've given them a goal. That's, but that's what I think I'll do from now. I will give goals and say, will you, can you do that, please? And let them go for it. Um, it's not unreasonable to make that dry shaft tunnel and have it welded in there in a day. It's really not if we sat down and had a plan. So um, I feel like that is a day's work to make all the beads in it and square tube it and have it done. That would be a goal for a day. I'm not doing it in one day on the video because it takes Jolene too long to 
put them on the, on the computer. Uh, but that's how we'll do it. Um, we'll B roll the little side thing or the little step back in it. That will be where the insulation is going. I'm going to sit back in it once again because I have a top on that console. I want to put the seat in it one more time because we can. That shifter's going down. You'll, I'm going to put the seat in it because I don't want to sit in the other one. To be honest with you, I really, I really enjoy it. Um, brake pedal is going to be have to be made smaller. Gas pedal is going right there. Gas pedal. So I'm going to end up. We'll make this round or do something with it. Maybe we can make a circle and cut, drill a bunch of holes in it, or whatever. What's that? Updated, rotated, updated. Whatever we're going to do. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> that's where it's going, and uh, everything's going good. I like the. This fits really nice. It's fat like this. I really. I don't know. What else to say? But uh, that's the how I'm going to make the console of the car. We have to, the shifter's going to have to go inside of there, so I'm going to have to make a bracket that this, say a bracket, maybe just a flat plate that this lays on, bolt it to it. we got rubbers right here. You can see where it bolted to it, and put it down in so the shifter just comes out outside of the metal. So I'll put a sink it down in there, four inches probably, and then we'll make our own piece that goes on top, tells us we're in neutral drive shift, whatever. We'll make our own, but that's how it rolls. When the panels go on the side, the panels will be step, you know, bead roll it. We use the bead roller to step in a panel for the insulation. We will do that first. We will weld it on the bottom first and then got that edge, got that edge. We will cut the access off the top. We will do the exact same thing on the other side. We will do the bottom, got each end, cut the access off the top. The shifter will be mounted down inside where it's supposed to be. Then the, this piece here will be cut to go over top of the shifter and put in place and spot welded on the square tubing where this is. Uh, nothing, everything will be spot welded like I'm doing it and we'll be using seam sealer to cover it. Uh, did you want to sit in, sweetheart, and say goodbye? Uh. Huh? Anyways. Uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. I'm happy with it. Very happy with the console in it. It fits nice. And if your console, if you don't, you know, if you want to make a square console, like I say, it's your party. You can cry if you want to. Eight o'clock tonight, there'll be another video on it. Joanne's going to show her talent off. And, and, and the other part is just my opinion. <laughs> and that's all it is. Um, I take responsibility for myself and myself only because I know that that's all I can handle. And I know deep down I cannot control anything else but that. So I will not take responsibility for anybody else because I cannot control it. Okay, Chad said so. <laughs> <laughs>